Now we need to imagine notes in timbre, harmony and dynamics with movement. In Mozart music, dynamical range is different from Beethoven's music, for instance. Everything should be, in a way, less in Mozart. That means forte is just a mezzo forte, but piano is as soft as possible. Uh, so we may say that Mozart's music is the art of making piano. <laughs> and as soft as possible means that if you try to imagine notes for the first time as soft as possible and you think that is your piano, try to go beyond your limits and you'll be surprised how much softer you can imagine sound. Um, well, I think it's clear, no need to uh, <laughs> explain anything. Now, when imagine piano, don't imagine the sound smaller but more translucent. This is very important to remember. We don't want any tense sound. Keep sound relaxed and full. Imagine that you have a picture on your computer screen and you simply change the transparency level to, let's say, 90%. So the picture is not smaller but more translucent. The same is with the sound, meaning make the imagined sound as transparent as possible without diminishing it. Um, well, I don't know, so let's say you imagine this G. I mean, I really don't need to explain here anything, you understand. Now look at the score and imagine both hands in timbre, harmony and dynamics, still imagine movement and glissando between notes. And after that, play both hands while imagining every note, and you play with intonation and articulations. Now, also important thing, remember, articulations shouldn't change your dynamics, and dynamics shouldn't change your articulation. So this one I will explain. That means when you have accents that are written within piano range, do not start playing louder because you would intonate more actively accents. Well, typical thing. Um, you have this accent, this accent in piano. But you would, you know, play nature a little bit more heavy and louder just because you see this accent. And just because you intonate uh, with more weight and acceleration, you should really separate your intonation, your imagination. They can live independently from each other. Um, and other way around, when you, uh, when uh, when you have staccata written in the score uh, in piano, do not start playing staccato softer because you would imagine no softer. Mm, I don't know, I mean, it's everywhere. Let's say you have this. Right, so you have this uh, acceleration in your intonation, but yet you have to imagine sound soft. So sometimes uh, when students try to imagine something softer, they are naturally kind of singing also softer. <laughs> so instead of playing like this, Staccato softer, just because they imagine something softer. So now you understand what I mean when I say that um, dynamics shouldn't change your articulations, as well as articulations shouldn't change your dynamics. To finish with this uh, first imagination part, we would need to imagine notes in timbre, harmony, dynamics, and voicing with movement and glissand. So this is like a pack that you have to keep in mind, layers by layers. Voicing notes um, doesn't mean that we imagine melodies simply louder or play accompaniment softer. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. To make a beautiful voicing, we need to imagine that we are staying closer to, uh, to the imagined sound without changing it dynamically. Again, just like in piano, don't voice by simply making sound more tiny, you know, like you want to voice and make it tiny and more clear. Instead, keep the same sound picture, like the computer picture, you know, but change your location. 
So that means that let's say you imagine this beautiful um, violins in C major light, um, beautiful transparent piano, and you want you need to voice your own hand. So you wouldn't just imagine it now mezzo forte. You would still imagine it piano, very transparent picture, but you would kind of stand more close. Uh, to that picture so you can see it like a little bit more intense but still the color the texture the quality of the sound is still the same that's what I'm trying to tell here and eventually when you play you wouldn't play simply let's say this way because sound becomes more aggressive you still want to make it soft okay it's written my support the buttons break it actually do I am I'm making piano everywhere so now let's say you make piano and you just simply um, stay closer to that sound. It's still, it's still soft, but it's clear. That's how it works. <laughs>